How's it going guys? My name is Dave Higgins. Welcome to Sandbox Explorer. All right, so I meant to record this video uh, two times before the weekend and I was having audio issues. I couldn't get any audio for some reason and I was like kicking myself. What am I doing wrong? It's really dumb, so I'll tell you because it's kind of funny to me, so you can laugh at me. <laughs> um, apparently, I shut off sound recording. I don't know how I managed to do that, but I did that in the camera and I didn't bother to check that. I just got mad and said, uh, I'll do it later. So it's now later and I just figured it out. So I'm going to actually do it now, but yeah, for the future, I won't be making that mistake again, so I won't have a lapse in time between the videos I want to record, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, so Today, after that good news about the bad news, there's some more bad news. Apparently, if you have been watching me since around when I started, uh, one of the first videos I did was an E3 reaction from the Nintendo Direct back in June this year, and uh, one of the games that was highlighted the most to me, besides obviously Animal Crossing, so out of the indie titles, the one that looked the most enticing to me and I was really, really waiting to play is Pine. Every day, I've been checking to see when I can pre-purchase Pine because I'm gonna buy that game, let's be real. And every day, it says releasing August 2019 and at the time of filming it still says that it's now the 26th so I, I, I don't think it's coming out this month now I actually know that it's not coming out this month because I decided to do some sleuthing around the internet which wasn't too much sleuthing it was literally just typing in pine Twitter so I discovered that twirlbound is a developer because I didn't know that before I just knew pine and I scrolled down their Twitter page and they were talking about pine and all of a sudden I saw a post that said we're pushing pine back just a little bit to October the specific date will follow at the start of September with a brand new trailer we hope you understand read more here and then that leads you to the Kickstarter page I'll talk about the Kickstarter page in a second because that's really where the meat of this video is gonna come from you can really check out this game you know I, I wanted to tell you that it is gonna get delayed um, unfortunately, it's not coming out this month like it was supposed to, even though the Nintendo site has not updated it yet. So every day, if you don't know this information, you're just going to get teased if you're like me and you've been really waiting for this game. But it is the end of August now, so in a few days or so, sometime probably within the next week, they're going to announce the actual release date. So, you know, it's, it's not coming out in August like they originally projected, but it's close enough. <laughs> they said they're going to aim for August and... It's pretty much August. October is only two months later than August, so really, it's fine. And there's plenty of other games to play in the meantime, too. I'm still trying to beat Dragon Quest Builders 2. I just finally got past Crumble done. I've been taking so long doing other stuff besides the main quest, which I really need to just follow the main quest because you just... Anyways, that, rad, I get to play Friday the 13th, I get to play so many other games, I still haven't played Assassin's Creed 3 Remaster, like, I get tons of games to play, so it's okay, I can wait another month or maybe two if it's like the end of October, so. Bad news is it's gonna get delayed, it's not coming out this month, and I really, really wanted to play it, but the good news, it's only coming out in October. It's not getting pushed back till March like Animal Crossing. But also to tie into that, even though I'm really disappointed that Animal Crossing is coming out in March instead of probably this month or next month it was originally gonna probably come out, I'm assuming like September-ish. Since it's going to be released an additional amount of months beyond the original expected release date, that means that the developer is taking time to make the game the way it's supposed to be. Same thing is true with Animal Crossing, same thing is true with Pine. They're really taking care of the fans and the game. They want to make sure that if you're going to get this game, you're going to get the game that you want to get. And a game that they're happy to present to you and say, we made this game. So that I really appreciate. Not every developer does that. We all know this. There are sometimes games that get released that you say, what were you thinking? What were you doing? Why is this game out? Where are the updates? Why what, what'd you do? What happened? But not Twirlbound, they decide that they're gonna make it into a game that is the right game. So I really appreciate that. I talked about the Kickstarter page being linked off of their Twitter post, and I'm gonna tell you about that a little bit. So if you've never heard of Pine, then I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it now, because, you know, if you saw the E3 Direct, then you probably heard about this game, but if for some reason you missed it, let me tell you a little bit about it. Now the next few things I'm gonna read are gonna be directly off the Kickstarter page, so, well, Everything I'm going to tell you about right now is going to be off the Kickstarter page, but this is going to be like direct quotes from it. So, so right on their Kickstarter page it says, An open world action adventure game set in a simulated world that does not belong to humans. In Pine, humans never reach the top of the food chain. Set on the living and breathing island of Albemare, an intricate ecology reacts, evolves, and adapts to you specifically. It's up to Hugh to find the new home for a near extinct leftover tribe. You play as Hugh, that's the main character. I'll mention him a little bit in a moment as well. Now again, if you haven't heard of this game, then it's actually inspired by quite a few games that are some good ones, so you might find some interest in them if you found interest in these games. Inspired by the adventures of Link in the Zelda series, the intriguing nemesis system of Shadow of Mordor, 
Fable's choice-dependent progression, and the dance-like combat of Bloodborne, Pine brings you an ever-evolving world that provides each player with a fascinating and truly unique journey. And for a super condensed version, it says Pine in 30 seconds. A 3D action-adventure game about adaptation, explore the island of Albemare in an open-world fashion, befriend or hinder species that can evolve and devolve, take on the role of Hugh and find a new home for your species, enemies learn from your moves using advanced AI, and it says release plan for quarter four 2018 on PC and then everything else in the future. It hasn't come out yet, but we know it's coming out in October now because that's what I'm telling you and that's what they said. So that being set aside, the rest of it describes the game. Also on their Kickstarter page, they have a developer blog that shows you different things like screenshots of the landscape to the character Hugh that you play as. They have an update from his original model to a newer, more personality filled looking model, if you will as well as the different creatures, characters in the game, like the crocodiles, the moose, the foxes, whatever else kind of animals there are. I'm not sure exactly how many there are. You can see there's at least those few. They have their reactions to different things going on in the environment, depending on whether they're hiding or if they're greeting someone or different things. So the developers clearly care about the game and the people who want to play the game. <laughs> it's nice to see that they actually are, you know, interacting with the people who backed the Kickstarter and just in general, people can see updates for it. And you know, they're not being quiet and kind of hiding in the shadows, they're letting you know what's going on and they're letting you know that they are taking their time just a little bit longer to make sure it's right and able to be released the way that they want it to be released. I really love the art style and the graphics of the game. It has this sort of like cartoony and vibrant look to it, but at the same time it has this kind of serious tone to it as well that really seems to combine for a game that's really worth picking up and playing and diving into. The feature that I'm looking forward to the most in this game is that the ecosystem, depending on who is where, will affect the entire ecosystem. Like if you need to steal food because, you know, you're not the top of the food chain. You need to get food somehow and you might have to steal it. You might have to drive somebody out of an area and that's gonna make them go to a different area and someone else is gonna have to leave there, whether it's the invaders or the invaded. Someone's gonna split and go somewhere else. So it's gonna change where everything is, how people react. I'm not sure exactly how deep that's gonna go, but that seems to be a big feature of the game. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how that plays out because I can't really think of a game where that's really one of the heavy features in it. I'm sure that something like that exists, but I just, can't think of one off the top of my head right now, so it's definitely not a commonly used one. So yeah, that game is coming out in October, hopefully the earlier end of October, but if it's the end of October, that's okay. If for some reason it gets delayed again beyond that, that's okay, make the game right. I appreciate you doing that, you know, it's, it's the right thing to do, and I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments below, have you been looking forward to this game since E3, since before E3? Have you just heard about this game in this video? Leave me a like, subscribe, and share, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.